One of the things in the one second every day that you'll notice is these, all these great moments um, and, and people and friends, and all of a sudden, I think it's twice throughout the year, there was, whoops, I forgot. It was a day that you forgot. Tell us quickly what happened and how did that make you feel? That was really early on. That was like in the first, uh, in the first two months of the project. And I know exactly why, what those seconds are. I, I, I forgot because I did nothing, nothing notable. And, and when I realized that I had forgotten, it was like two days later, I'm like, oh, I didn't record a second the past two days. And, and that really was my moment of, 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 that's why I'm doing this, because I'm suddenly really aware of how I'm spending my time and, and when I'm disappointed by it. And, 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 I can look back on, on, on a long span of time really quickly now, and I can and I can generally say like, hey, all right, or like, oh, I didn't really need to, I need to step it up or something. You know, so. so I ask you the same question you asked Michelle. How did you know it was time to quit your job? When had you had enough, and you're like, I'm 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 done with this? Uh, I there was a there was one like no details, but there was just one awful night at work, uh, and. And I, I, I and at the time I already wanted to quit, but in that moment there were just so many things happening around me between deadlines, between you know maybe some questionable decisions about what we were doing and, and whatnot. And I wrote, I went to this website called uh, futureme.org, and this was like two in the mor three in the morning on a Saturday night, and I was at work, and and, and basically the website allows you to email yourself, uh, and I emailed myself. And I had it had it arrived to me on my thirtieth birthday. Kind of like a postcard, almost that's coming to you. Okay, got it, got it, got it. exactly, <laughs> okay. exactly. I, ha I had it arrived to me on, on my thirtieth birthday, and I wrote down kind of an agenda of like, by this day, you have to have quit your job. You have to have done this. You have to have done that. And there was just something about really, like, like keeping me in check about it. That I actually, by the time I got the, it was two years later that I got that email, and I. Completely, I've forgotten about it, and, and, and just it was just one of the most beautiful moments of my life. I was just like, because it was just old me talking to me. me you know? it was just like, so, you saved up for a year or two years, two to, years in order to take a year off? A little bit less. Than a two lot years. of people think, oh, I live in New York City, I've got this rent, I go out to dinner, I have all these things. How much of a sacrifice was it to save to have that time off, and, and what kind of cuts did you make in order to do that? Uh, as a rule of thumb, I basically cut. What I was earning in half, and cap that half be going to a bank account that I didn't touch, so that I can't touch it. Like I can't like just on, on a whim, just like ah, just today, just this time. I just I didn't allow myself. I didn't give myself a password or anything. Uh, and I just it was more of like working with my limitations. It was like this is what I have left. So h how do I live with this? And and. And all of a sudden, you just start figuring it out. You know, it's just you know, it's almost like you just have to imagine that you just got a half, like half of your paycheck, like a fifty percent, like fifty percent pay cut. Exactly. You just you, you got to put yourself in that position, and somehow you just figure out how you will eat, and maybe you'll cook more, maybe you'll do this, maybe, you know, just. What is something everyone's watched TED Talks? What's something about a, the TED Talk experience that most people wouldn't know or would surprise most There's people? There's like Bill Gates and like Al Gore. The that clock is like. Is, is like somebody just pounding on you because it's just your time's ending, your time's ending, and, and right above it is Bill Gates looking at you or something, and you're just like, <gasps> and you just get, it, it's, it's, it's a, the most nervous I've ever been in my whole life, and I, I don't know, ever, it'll be that nervous ever again. What, um, what's an example or two of someone that's used one second every day? I, I, I know whenever I mention it, I get different people. Something like, oh, Caesar speaking. Like, oh, I saw a woman that did when she was pregnant or someone's the kid's first year. How, what are some ones that stand up for you? Uh, the, yeah, yeah, the pregnant one came out recently. That was just amazing because in like just less than five minutes, you see a couple going through pregnancy, you know, and then going from like, from like, oh, it's pink or, you know, and I'm having, we're having a baby. And then, less than five minutes, there's a baby, and you're just like, that, and that's, and that, that, that you know, it's a, there, that, there's, there, there's been ama some amazing ones. There's, a, there's a guy who just sent me one where he, he's just on a horse going through like Mongolia, and he's recording one second every day, and and so I saw his journey of like a month and a half, and you know, uh, in, in inside of a, you know, a couple less than a minute, and I'm just like, uh, uh, you know, it, it, and that's the powerful part of one second every day that you know. It's just like this is my life, 
you know, in six a year and six minutes. But w what would it be like if if, if I just you just start getting that kind of a condensed glimpse of other people's lives? I and mean, it's just it's just I, I I'm speechless for it. During that year, what was your favorite second? My my first year. Yeah. Uh, the day my sister-in-law came home from the hospital. She was in the hospital for two months. If you see the video, it's a very, uh, uh, n you know, it, it's it, one of those things that I mentioned in the TED talk is about how, you know, the last thing you want to do when you when you're in a in a in a, in a having a bad day and something horrible is happening around you is take your phone out and record a video. I mean, you basically only take your phone out to record videos or take pictures when something awesome is happening, uh, and, and so. Uh, you know, it, it really made me realize how important it is to also reflect on regular moments and, and bad moments because they, you know, when, when you see them all together, it's just like, just life just does this, and you kind of once you see it, you're just like, you know, I have, I'm having a bad day today, but that, you know, it'll get better. So you had a bad day. Um, final question: What is the one piece of advice you'd give to the people in the audience um, that you've learned throughout this process? <sighs> uh, buy yourself time. Uh, there's, uh, I, the, I, I say that from a very, like, um, from the standpoint of, if you think, it, going back to what we were talking about when we were kids and stuff, like, if you think about when you were a kid, you, if you, if you were, um, you know, if, if, if you were, like, right now, we, we spend so much time working, uh, it takes, like, we spoke so much of your time, like, when you were a kid, you didn't have a job, so you had all this time, and it's like, how do I spend it? And you, you just end up spending it doing things you want to do, right? You're just either, whether it be playing video games or this or that, you're just like doing what you want to do. And like, we lose that a bit as an adult, when, and if all of a sudden, you buy yourself, if you take work out of the equation all of a sudden, and you get to spend some time, whether it be a year for me, or I have friends who've done it for a month or three months, all of a sudden it's like, how that time fills itself, kind of works itself out to what you want to do with that time and how you can find a way to make that full-time, not just part-time. Awesome. Thanks so much. Let's hear it for Caesar.